like a David versus Goliath story, or it's a storyline in the TV show Billions. Or the choppy waters out there, perfect for us. For the average investor, hell no. But never forget, what's bad for him is good for us. In a normal script, hedge funds profit from crowded retail trades because they have the power. It's a power held by few, closed, and leader-driven. So when the hedge funds lose, at first, it doesn't make sense. Big guys shorting this and smaller yeah. players, retail investors, buying it and making windfall profits. When it happened before, there could have been many reasons for it. The unusual amount of liquidity provided by central banks during the pandemic, the interest rates going to zero or under, or the amount of people trading because they're bored in lockdown. But with GameStop, it's a clear display of a new power. This new power is made by many, it's open and peer-driven. It's clear there's collective intelligence emerging from a crowd of amateurs on the Wall Street Bet subreddit. The first kind of content are a lot of people doing some incredible fundamental diligence on companies, trying to think about long-term value. And in my opinion, many of them are doing as good and frankly, a better job than a lot of hedge fund analysts that I work with. They take on the short positions, and even when the hedge funds team up, the crowds still manage to win. This new power taps into people's capacity and desire to participate, not just consume. Like the Wall Street Bets community on Reddit, they're sharing, shaping, funding, producing strategies that they action together. With GameStop, they're also co-owning. I think that what you're seeing is um, essentially a pushback against the establishment in a really important way. This may need some nuance. In the case of game stocks, the buyers are not just retail investors, of course. It's owned by big funds, and one of the winners is the same Michael Burry, who made a name and a fortune for himself with his big short against the housing market in 2008. Also, let's not forget that on the other side, Robinhood blocked the GameStop trades. Hedge funds were aware of the risks, us. just like billions. If, if we're as smart as we think we are, if not, the heat will melt us like an almond joy in the sun. What the story showed is that there can be a new power that erodes the old power models and win. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. And it's ultimately a battle about who can control and shape our society. Hope you like this one. It's based on an Harvard Business Review article and a book, which is linked below. If you want me to keep posting this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me.